hello friend in this tutorial i am going to show you how to import the video file in 3ds max this is a very important tutorial for the animator who want to copy the animation exact like the reference video this is very helpful for those who want to match the animation uh, to the reference so please watch the tutorial from start to end and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so here is the 3ds max i will take a plain object change the size it to according to your uh, video uh, resolution so i will change it to 2020 to 1080 click on m button on your keyboard so material editor will be open now apply one material go to diffuse uh, button and uh, select the bitmap and click ok it will redirect you to the your uh, device folder now choose your uh, file Thirius Max uh, have option to select uh, some files. It will uh, not uh, select all kind of files. So you have to see what kind of file Thirius Max can uh, support. So uh, as you can see here is AVI file, MPEG file, and then uh, video file, move file. Okay. So if I click on all file. I have a video that is in the format of mp4 here mp4 file so I will need it to convert uh, the video format to another uh, format uh, like uh, AVI so what I will do I will go in Google and type uh, convert video file Here is the second link uh, that I often use uh, that is uh, onlinevideoconverter.com so I will click on this now it's saying select or drop file I will choose this uh, file now it's uh, preparing your file for conversion supported file format uh, as you can see mp3 as uh, mp4 wav there are almost uh, every full file format that you can uh, change uh, so format uh, select a format now it's saying uh, select a format in which you want to convert your file so i will choose avi now click on start button your video is uh, being processed it's now converting your uh, video conversion has uh, completed now you can uh, download I will uh, save it on my desktop uh, so here is the no desktop uh, options choose desktop ok file name is uh, video.avi uh, I can change its name to 323 video avi now hit the download button now it's downloading it's 
completed. I will check uh, that video that has completed. Uh, here is 23 video. This is our video which has uh, converted into AVI. Now I will import this video in 3ds Max. So again go in 3ds Max. Uh, it's click on diffuse material and bitmap. Go into desktop. What uh, with the file name 23 video? I will select this and click open. Now, as you can see, the video has uh, come on the material, but it's not showing in viewport. In this case, you have to click on this uh, icon that is uh, so shaded material in viewport. Click on this. Now our video has uh, imported but uh, it's uh, in uh, landscape mode so I will rotate it to 90 degree. And I will change its uh, resolution uh, length white. I think it should be 1080. Then 80. And now I will hit the play button. I will increase my time length. So it's not compulsory that your video resolution and your object resolution should be the same. You can change it to any size and it will be play on every size of your object. Like if I change the size of my object to increase or decrease the size, it will also play on that resolution. any size you can uh, change in a, it will uh, play on uh, every kind of size if I choose another uh, object like uh, like 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 uh, spare and if I apply the same material on this it will also play on this uh, spare if I choose another object like cylinder and apply this material on it it will also play on this cylinder so it is not mandatory that uh, object should be plain it can be play on uh, every material like box spare plain uh, torus etc so hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel thank you so much